we are now joined by Austin Dillon, driver of the number three AAA Chevrolet for Richard Childress Racing. Austin, fresh off of his first Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series win last week in the Coca-Cola 600, now here for the AAA 400 at the Monster Mile, the drive for autism. Austin, how has this week of celebration been for you, and are you still celebrating at this point in time? <laughs> No, I'm pretty focused on uh, our, our uh, task in front of us right now, and that's uh, the Monster Mile. So we just uh, been working on our car and um, in both series. So it's been a pretty busy day, and um, it was a wonderful weekend that I'll never forget. We're in a week. Okay, we'll open the floor up for questions. Uh, we'll get a wireless mic to you, so just raise your hand. We'll start here with Jerry, and we'll come up here to Bob. Jerry Jordan, kicking the tires.net and PRN. Right here. <laughs> We're not going to lift you off that easy. I saw... Snapchat, I saw opening bell or closing bell on, on Wall Street. Talk about your week and, uh, and how, how cool this has been to coming off of your win. Well, I mean, it's, it's been an awesome week, truthfully. Um, got to do some things that I, I would uh, have, have on my bucket list, but I didn't even know they were like, possible. You know, closing the bell was really special. And getting to do that with my grandfather, that was the first time or his only time doing that. And um, so it was cool to give him something that he had never done. And uh, that's hard to do because my grandfather's done a whole lot. Um, so that was special and had a good time with my team and all, everybody at RCR and a good time uh, that night uh, after the race. Go next to Bob and then to Matt. Uh, Bob Parker, CSPN. Uh, w what was the most special thing or was there anything about the celebration week that you didn't anticipate? Um, probably the most special thing, there's two things. Um, the night uh, after we closed the bell, my grandfather wanted to stay in New York and have dinner, and um, it was the guys from SMI and myself and my fiance and um, uh, Peggy Louse from Coke, and he uh, bought a bottle of champagne, and, and he said, uh, let's toast to the Coca-Cola 600 champion, and uh, that was pretty emotional and cool, and to hear my grandfather do that and you know, kind of nod his head at me, it felt good, and then... At RCR, I got to speak in front of the whole company, and uh, that was probably the most emotional I got was just thanking those guys who have always uh, been there for me. Um, I told them, you know, this is what it's all about, and all the hard work and effort that they've put in and the support of uh, myself throughout all my racing career and just seeing some of those faces, it was really cool to share that with them and have Victory Lane there at the shop. We, we kind of recreated it. Uh, that, was, that was awesome. Hey, Austin, Matt Pensick at WBOC-TV. We were talking about the celebration all this week. Is it challenging to get dialed back in to get focused to the task at hand this weekend and competing at the mile? Um, you know, uh, I don't think so. I think we've got a great group of guys. I actually just loved working through practice right there with Justin. It was nice to just kind of work on the car and um, to uh, hear him talk and go through things. It was good. You know, it was a, it was a solid practice session. So, no, I feel like we're, uh, we just want to win again. we got a lot – left to accomplish you know that was the first one we want more to come and to get ourselves solidly uh, into the playoffs go next to dustin hey austin dustin albino front .com. how long did it take for the wind to sink in um <clears throat> i i don't think i've slowed down enough yet to really just know that i'm a nascar cup series winner but it sunk in a couple times you know like those opportunities i've had with my grandfather and and the race team so those uh those are the most special times, but um, going through my phone and Twitter, still kind of going through my phone right now and thanking people, and uh, that that's cool. Do we have additional questions for Austin Dillon? Dustin? Dustin Long, NBC Sports. Um, Austin, although it's just only been a week since then, when, when you think about that, that you won this race and, and think about those who haven't, I mean, for example, a guy like Cale Yarborough, won three times at Charlotte, but he never won a Coca-Cola or World 600. Dale Earnhardt Jr. never will have that opportunity again, and, and others haven't. So when you think about accomplishing something that, uh, especially like a Hall of Famer like Cale Yarborough never did in his career, what, what, what does that mean for you? Well, I think the ultimate goal um, in racing is to make it to the Hall of Fame. Um, my grandfather, I was able to go through that whole experience with him and how special that was. Um, I know that was just a – it was like a relief for him when it happened because that's what you work your entire life for is, is a accolade like that. And 
um, for him to accomplish that, it was so cool. And hopefully one day I can do the same. So we're, we're uh, we've got a long way to go. You know, there's a lot of great people that have done so much, and um, just I, I'm happy to be added to the sports history. That was something my grandfather made clear. You're, you're making history every day when you're out here racing, and it was cool to add to the sports history. Reed, oh, Reed Spencer with NASCAR Wire Service, Austin. Uh, was that just a chance meeting that you ran into to Kumasato, and and what did you guys talk about? Yeah, that was totally uh, fate. Um, we we had that dinner that we weren't. It wasn't a scheduled dinner. My grandfather was just like, hey, we're in New York. Let's you know have a dinner and. We got done, and we we're headed to the airport. Everybody's pretty tired, and we walked through the uh, airport, and um, one of the guys said, hey, I think that's Takuma Sato. And he kind of – he was walking actually out to the plane, and I, man, we got to get a picture with him. And he, he – uh, his business manager what turned around and seen us, and he was like, well, this is a great coincidence. And he pulled him back in, and we got a couple pictures, showed off our rings to each other, and that was cool. He was a really nice guy, and um, you could tell he was just jacked about uh, the win at Indy. That's the gym. Jim Mutter, motorsport.com. Obviously, Ryan Newman's win ended a long drought for RCR, but could you tell uh, this week any difference what how special it was for the the three car to win, either for the people who were have been in the shop for a long time or your grandfather? Well, I mean, um, I think it, it was huge. Uh, you know, Ryan's new Ryan's win was was unbelievable for our con- company, and this one was was just as big and. Um, just for all those people that, you know, it's it's a competition within a competition. You still want to be the best in the organization and, and run well, but that's what drives us to be better and better. And um, it was cool having Luke Lambert. He was over at the barn the next morning, like, partying right there with us. And it's a really team atmosphere, and um, it's it's cool to see this, this kind of building um, as a team. And uh, a lot of the 31, 27 guys thanked me and, and uh, three guys were just just happy to be in victory circle. So it felt really good. <clears throat> Go next to Matt and then to Dustin. Austin, when Martin uh, Truex was here just a few minutes ago, he talked about he's coming off the wind in the fall, but there's some rule changes and things do make it slightly different. Do you Have you noticed that? Have you prepared for it when you're out there in practice? Yeah, I think um, we all are, are – um, well, our team was a little surprised about the differences in the – past race here to this one and in practice session so we made some pretty big swings and we felt like we got our car pretty comfortable but um i think the track's starting to you know rubber up a little bit as we go here and i've seen more and more guys kind of move to the middle lane so that was cool and maybe uh you'll see more and more of that to come race time moving up the track Go next to dustin uh dustin long nbc sports uh only second week obviously at this level working with justin i know you worked with him before so <laughs> What, what what are you guys still working through? What are you wanting from him as, as you move forward in this relationship? And what, what are you going to need to provide for him to continue to have success? Well, I, I don't know if it's the honeymoon or what, but um, he's doing everything right right now. Um, we, we had a good time yesterday at the um, Drive for Autism golf tournament. We came back, we had dinner, and we discussed. Uh, it was just me and him actually having dinner together and just talking about the race car, and that was uh, nice to just – talk and um, discuss what we thought was going into uh, this weekend with AAA and it uh, it's it's been a great relationship so far so and in, in practice today it was cool I got I kind of smiled halfway through practice because I was thinking about an adjustment that uh, I, I said the car was a little tight and I was thinking in my mind all right I know kind of what direction I want to go here and like I seen him turn around to the engineers and get get excited and I don't know get excited he just had a revelation and he said all right we're going to do this and it was exactly what i was thinking and that's when when um i've had that once before um when i was running for a championship with danny stockman where i could say all right i'm tight here and he could say all right uh well i want to adjust this and it was exactly what i was thinking i didn't even have to tell him what part to change and that's when you start getting to where you know each other and I know it's early on, but that, that felt really good. I mean, I, I came in the truck, and Eric's like, what are you smiling for? I was like, no, oh, I'm happy with my guy right now. He's, he's doing really well, and it's uh, exciting. Any additional questions for Austin Dillon? Well, Austin, congratulations I again. I want to clear on one thing up, though. Yeah, let's uh, hear it. Chris Knight said, uh, when did you get a 24-karat gold Camaro? That is just a wrap from RCR Graphics. So 
it's a wrap on my Camaro that was burning out. It's not. It. It's not a twenty-four karat no, gold wrap. It's, it's, no, I can't afford that. But okay. it's a chrome gold wrap. You can get it at RCR Graphics. It's it's pretty sweet. Well, maybe if you win the championship, maybe then you can actually turn that. In. We can talk. We can talk about that. Okay, good deal. That was the first one, and the clothes still stink. 